Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, so they want us to determine the product of the following two factors, and they want the answer in scientific notation. So let's break apart the language here. We've got the product. That means we're multiplying two factors. Those are the numbers we're multiplying. And scientific notation is, of course, the way we write numbers using powers of 10, where the first factor is positive or negative between 1 and 10. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so there are many ways to solve this. Let's write it larger so you can see it. We have 200.5 times 3 times 10 to the 9th. We're just multiplying these numbers. I took the parentheses away. That reminds me I can multiply in any order. So I'm going to first do 3 times 200.5. I'm comfortable with that, so I'll do that first. So 3 times 200 is 600. 3 times a half is 1.5. If we add those together, we get 601.5. We still have to multiply by 10 to the 9th, though. That's a billion. So I could do, you know, I can multiply out. However, we're asking for the answer in scientific notation. So I'm going to divide this first number by two powers of 10 to get my decimal to go to the left twice to make 6.015. In other words, I'm going to divide by 10 squared, or 100. To match this out and make sure it's equivalent, I'm going to multiply this by 100. By this, I mean 10 to the 9th. That would keep my number the same value, just in a different form. So 10 to the 9th times 10 squared is 10 to the 11th. And we've got our answer. 6.015 times 10 to the 11th. Thank you.